What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Gadgets 123. Thanks again for all the like, comment, subscriptions. On the road to a thousand subs. This is the Gadgets 123 tips. Let me get straight to the point. If you're having, if you're checking out this video, it's because you're having this error message. So, for instance, if we go here, United States setup. Oh, uh, there we go. You get this. Unable to activate error message. So let me show you real quick. You get that error message. Now, on. Uh, it happened to me because I did the update. Once I did the update, my SIM card start, start, uh, stopped working. It said no service. I rebooted the phone and I connected it to iTunes, reset the phone, and went back to the welcome screen and I got welcome with this unable to activate. The weird thing is that if you go to, let me just go here, to the welcome screen, when you click on this button, the I, you're supposed to get more information than just the SN. Now, for instance, this is a working phone. As you can see, it has all that information, IMEI and so forth. This one's missing literally everything. Now, after checking some forums out and some other information, unfortunately, uh, there's no actual like fix you could do in regards to you know, connecting it to iTunes. I already tried all that in DFU mode or, you know, doing anything maybe if you if you jailbreak it or whatever you might be able to do it but something easy and quick and simple there's really no fix that i actually did find for this problem but i did check the apple forums and what seems to uh, one good thing about this thing um that might help you guys out is that Apple is aware of these issues on certain models of the iPhone, iPhone 7. Now, I'm going to link that in the description if you want to read into more details. But what the summary says, basically, it's a hardware issue and it's more of a recall. So if you have iPhone 7, 7 Plus, even the X and so forth, again, you have to go through the forum and, and, and kind of look. I'm going to link that in the description. But it's basically saying that this, regardless if you have an Apple uh, warranty, Apple Care, or it's still on the warranty, or if it's not on the warranty, you, it, they're still going to honor the replacement of the, of the phone, or they're going to replace the motherboard. I'm not really sure, depending on where you go, but they're going to service this uh, free of charge, so you don't have to pay anything. That's what the Apple forum says. I called them up. They told me, it took me 30 minutes to try to get the representative to uh, kind of figure out what, what the heck I was talking about, but... I guess after talking to the supervisor, they said I could go to an Apple store and have it replaced. So uh, we're going to take this phone to an Apple store and have it checked out. The only thing I the only drawback I see here on my side is I have a little crack here. As you could see, it's nothing major. It just fell, so it has a little crack. So that might be a problem when I take it to the store. They might tell me, hey, it has a crack, so it's not. It's we can't honor that. Even though this has nothing to do with the crack, this this crack has been there for what a couple months already and had no issue. This issue began with the update of the iPhone. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take it and I'll let you guys know. Okay. So as you could, as you saw in the video. I recorded, I was making a line in the Apple Store, but I could not uh, record while talking to the representative. So, do have good news and bad news. If you do have this error message on your iPhone, you should have no problem taking it to the Apple Store and having it either replaced or swapped. So, don't even worry about it, guys. Instead of you going over different things to do and most likely are not going to work, Apple will honor this um, this error message and either replace it most likely replace it they don't really fix them but they'll either uh, replace them or fix it they told me they were going to replace the phone the only drawback that personally I had with this phone was that it has a crack so if you do have a crack on your phone Apple is basically told me that they need to replace the crack so it's going to cost me 150 to get that replaced before they give me a new phone or troubleshoot this phone. Now, the crack really had nothing to do with the error message. This was an update and that caused a problem or like like the forum said, it's a, a hardware issue. So the crack really has nothing to do. But again, Apple 
kind of I figured that they weren't going to let this thing go, this little crack. So uh, my advice to you is if you do have a crack on your phone and you get this error message, do not take it to Apple and um, pay 150 to have that screen replaced. You're better off replacing the screen somewhere else, but try to get a original iPhone screen. Do not get a third-party screen because if Apple pretty much sees that it's a third-party screen, they might kind of get into that idea of, oh, well, this is all voided because you replace it. You replace it with a third-party screen. So if you do have a cracked screen with this error message and you you you, you think of taking it to Apple, there's two choices. You could pay the hundred and fifty dollars and then get a new iPhone seven or seven plus, which overall it is worth it for hundred and fifty bucks. Or you could literally replace the screen yourself with an original iPhone um, seven or seven plus screen if you know how to do that, or take it to a shop. But make sure the screen is an original screen and not a third-party screen. Usually the original screens, uh, this is a third-party screen. The original screen has the Apple logo right here. Instead of this barcode, it has the Apple logo and some information. This is a third-party screen. So I can't use this to replace the screen because, again, it might work. But if they take it to their shop and, and, and troubleshoot the issue and see it's a third-party screen, they might just say, well, it is voided, so we can't replace anything, and you're done. You might as well get an original iPhone 7 or 7 Plus screen or whatever iPhone you have and get that replaced or pay that $150. But again, there is a fix for this. That's only for people that have a cracked screen. If your screen is brand new and has no problem or there's no crack not even a small one like mine just take it to the apple store and they will honor that uh, problem they are aware of this issue and all you have to do is make an appointment to an apple location or send it via mail and they already should know what the problem is and give you either a new one or replace the uh, motherboard for the old one again i i most likely they usually will give you a new one so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Hopefully this information video that I gave you should help you. Do not start uh, jailbreaking your phone to try, get, to try to get this problem fixed. You're better off just getting a new one from Apple or at least a refurb one from them at no charge. They're not going to charge you anything because this is a recall issue. If you want to read more on that, check out the link that I posted on this video. Uh, in the Apple forum about this problem and if you have any more questions please leave it on the comment and I'll try to answer them thanks again for watching this video guys this is the gadgets one two three tips video unable to activate error message on the iPhone 7 7 plus and I think I seen them on the X all right thanks again for watching guys if you like this video please thumbs up and comment we are doing a mystery box giveaway when we reach a thousand subs so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and you'll be part of that giveaway all right guys leave you guys thanks again and i'll see you guys on the next video have a good one